All right, here we go. 15 seconds till we start. This is Lucky Flyers versus Calamity Gaming. Here we go. Good luck. Have fun. I'm going to adjust my sound settings a little bit because they're a little low, I think. There we go. That didn't adjust. Good on me. We're adjusting to fly. Okay, so we have flight control start with Calamity Gaming. And over in Datacore, the entire LF team power building an armory. And we're going to probably see mines to start out with, but it doesn't look like they started any research. A 3-2 split starting off. Calamity Gaming pushing all of their Skulks. A 4 crush all up into Class Hallway. Ungodly taking on 4 Skulks. He obviously called that out. Hackers coming back out of Glass Hallway. Web Trance also coming back, but those Skulks have made their way by. Tap has now covered that doorway, so he is fully covered. That, was, that is a spectator I need to mute. Uno momento. There we go. Problem solved. All those skulks have been crushed. Now the two naturals for the Marines are being taken. Ventilation and Reactor Core are both being taken. So there, that is completely uh, taken care of. Gibbs is watching that go down. Mast is just waiting to build that RT. He is now building it. Two Marines pushing up the atrium. While over in Pipe Junction, Tico taking on tap. He is just slowly biding his time. Two skulks in ventilation. Now pushing over Mast. But, uh, Bluesky Coming around the corner, getting some chip damage on him. Gibbs coming around and trying to take him out. Beluski finally taking out Mass. Tapped, looking down that hallway, sort of looking around, trying to figure out what's up. He's going to try and take on this three skull push, but it doesn't look like he's going to get pushed. Gibbs goes down off the world. Tap takes down Tico with an amazing pistol. And Beluski both goes down. Tico MVP. Please nerf OP. Reactor core going down to left-handed Jesus, while two two Marines and Atrium are going to come back to try and save that. Over at Crossroads, Ungodly is going to run away from Zesty. They're going to split up. I thought that was going to be engagement. It wasn't. He's going to build up the research. He's going to build power in Crossroads. Jesus now juking around hackers, trying to get that Resonode down. He takes down the Resonode. Zesty taking down hackers from behind. That Resonode is cleaned up. Now Web Trance is all alone. Bluesky, left-handed Jesus, and Zesty are going to roll up in there and roll right over him. Uh, in Atrium, he's going to try and do something, but he gets taken out. That is cleaned up. Over in Crossroads, Tico trying to take out on Godly and, and Mast, but uh, he is going to bite that Resonode and get out of there. He might get taken down. He does. He is gone. Uh, I have a phone call to make. We're just going to go up to Atrium where these Marines and these Skulks are going to meet up. Hackers is going to take on Bluesky and Zesty while I try and figure some stuff out with a phone call. If I could only find where this recent... Um I don't see a new message anywhere. No. Okay, well, I'll get back to that apparently later. Over in Crossroads, over in Glass Hallway, we have Zesty and Jesus now waiting in this ventilation, waiting in this vent right here, just waiting for hackers to go by. They might rush the base, they might rush Reactor Core. They're going to come up behind hackers, they are going to clean him out. Uh, and. Uh, Mass is going to get taken down. Hackers is going to try and take down Zesty, but Ungodly is going to pick him off instead. I don't know exactly how to friend this person on uh, on Skype. Tico now trying to take on Ungodly, and Hackers getting taken down himself by Hackers. Looks like the first Lurks are on the field. Bluesky is going to roll right into Crossroads. Hackers is going to get spiked a little bit as he rolls in. Bluesky comes in, does some chip damage, takes him out, and Mass is going to finish that up. I'm still trying to figure out how and why. There's what I need. We're going to call him. You're going to ignore that phone call really quick. Just don't even pay attention to what's going on there. Uh, uh, Nexus, can you hear me? Yes. Perfect. I'm going to make sure I can hear you. Can you speak for a minute? Can you hear me now? I can. You're just really low. I'm going to adjust my sound settings to make sure you work. Are you sound settings? As you can see, there's some action over in Crossroads. While I try and find, there we go. Now you should be able to talk and be okay. Can you try that one more time? Can you hear me now? Yes, you're still a little low, but All I'll try. Right. Well, I'm gonna change the levels on mine if you want. Well, it's not you, it's me, apparently. I'll work it out, I guess. I'll figure that out. Um, Hacker's coming around the corner, pushing into flight control, and pushing, and uh, Zesty's going to clean him out, but one Marine mass up in Crevice is going to get pushed on by Bluesky. Uh, he's going to try and juke and dodge as much as he can. Actually taking down Bluesky right there with some rifle, uh, rifle fire, that was one lurk down. That's kind of bad. That's actually really bad for 
for CG, one lurk being lost. That's not good. Webtrance now harassing uh, Atrium, taking down Zesty. He's going to try and take down their other lurk. If he can get this down, which he won't, but if he can, that's going to be really good for them. Over in Crossroads, Tico is taking on hackers, taking on hackers, juking around the RT, trying to take this RT down. Boosie's going to come up from behind and try and snipe hackers out. Tico takes down the extractor while left handed Jesus the lurk. Bluesky comes in, trying to reinforce. Bluesky taking down hackers, trying to get on Godly. He's going to see what happens. What do you think about that, Nexus? I mean, the uh, Marines are doing a good job of doing the pressure. And you've seen Comp Lab, Taps doing a lot of pressure in Comp Lab, just, and also in Atrium, is just making them go back and, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. They're just making them go back and, and have play, to play defense against their res nodes while giving themselves time to expand. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like is going on. Um, this is, uh, it looks rough for, I mean, it doesn't look that rough, honestly. It looks kind of like they're even overall. Aliens are sitting on three res nodes right now, while LF is sitting on four. Uh, both one down from where they should be. Uh, Armor 2 is just now finishing for the Marines, while three shells have just been finished for the aliens. So it looks like overall their tech is uh, pretty evenly matched. Down in sub, Zesty's going to get taken out by Tap as he tries to get around that RT. Let's look at resource towers. Four resource towers being taken out by the, by the aliens, while one harvester being taken out by the Marines. Re team resources 201 to 173, and team kills 23 to 16. Marines are skyrocketing in team kills, but, well, oh, yeah, yeah, they're doing really well, but aliens are keeping up a nice pace. Um, Marines, aliens really haven't had any, they've had some res biting, but the pressure from the Marines is really strong. I think that lurk kill really put them back. Weapons 1 now being finished by the Marines. I'm sorry, Weapons 1 now being started. Um, I mean, this looks pretty even. It looks like a pretty standard match. Uh, this is actually a rematch, Nexus, of G... That was an axe kill. Very nice, down in ventilation. Um, this is a rematch from earlier. LF versus Calamity. I don't know if you watched that original game. No, I think I was I was out. I believe. And they said they had they had scrimmed earlier, uh, but unfortunately I didn't see it. Um, but if you look at the map, you know the the the, the res and the team resources look good. Uh, but if you look at the map, the map control tends to be in LF's favor right now. Yeah, it really does look to be in LF's favor. Um, they've got Crossroads, which is a solid hold. And they've got Reactor Core, and they're just kind of taking on Atrium. Up in Atrium, by the way, Jesus is harassing that RT. But um, I think if Aliens really wanted to turn this around, I mean, they've got the upgrades behind them, and, and Shotguns are just now halfway done. Once Shotguns finish with Weapons 1, Armor 2, I think Marines are going to be in a really good spot to take on the Fade that's now appeared, Tico being that Fade. <laughs> that is his children. Uh, weapons 2 has been started. What, I mean... Do you think the aliens can make some 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 pressure here and and sort of pull their way out? He's busy. Um, you know this this forward whip play that that Schwa's got going on in uh, in Crevice. He's got one art. He's got a crag right there, and all his marines, all his aliens are sort of hovering around that. Those offensive mines actually uh, pushing some aliens out of Atrium for just a little bit, but those aliens took that out. Bluesky going down, he was just a skulk, but Tico taking out Webtrance. Um, I don't know what what the aliens can do other than keep up this pressure and start harassing some resources very hard. Nexus? I mean, they seem to be doing good. If you look at the... Uh at the res, I mean, it's they've taken down six extractors in nine minutes, which isn't terrible, but they could do a lot better. And that's that's going to be the name of the game. You see them sit on five extractors right now. If they could, if they could do just a tad bit more res biting, it'd be in good shape. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They should probably go for sub and invent. They should probably get behind enemy lines and start harassing those naturals, so that way the alien, the other aliens, can push up and take the uh, you know the harder to hit places, Atrium and Sub. A mine taking down Hackers. Uh, I'm sorry, Bluesky. Hackers mine taking down Bluesky. There goes another Lurk. Left-handed Jesus got caught up in the crossfire between Webtrance and Ungodly. That is unfortunate. Um, 
as now aliens are down ha- higher life forms mm-hmm. while yeah. marines are sitting on two two armor weapons with shotguns and an obs tower with phase gates shortly they're behind they're sitting on 40 res which i wouldn't be surprised if i see yep there's weapons three they're gonna go the full monty on weapons and see what they can do see as they can do as much damage as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, Considering that Zesty and Gibbs are only at 48 right now, if it's three, it's probably good. But I would not be um, lacking. I would not want to fall behind on the JPs because uh, even with weapons three, Onos played right, can clear out a map very easy without jetpacks. Yes, but now we have this big push. We have two push going on. We have two Skulks in Datacore and four Marines over an Alien Hive. Ungodly taking out Gibbs, Blueski, and Jesus. Those were the three Skulks that were in Datacore. So that got cleaned up due to some defensive mines. But now these Marines are in flight control. They're going immediately after these shells. Tico's going to kind of try and come in and save that. But they just lost one shell. They're all in one corner right here which is kind of a bad idea when it comes to placement on uh, upgrades i like to separate them out so they're not all not all found in one spot they're not all able to be killed uh that they just lost two shells that's 40 res that they just lost plus the cutoff in summer reception which is bad they can just resist that which is not a big deal but they're sitting on four res nodes marines are sitting on five they're getting phase gates they're probably going to go for a phase gate and crossroads as they're sitting on 13 res right now um Unless the aliens do something to turn this res game around, it doesn't look like they're coming out of this. No, and the center of the map is always key. You know, the, the, without without control of crossroads, Marines can just waltz right through the middle of the map and pressure just about anything they want. They can go to sub, they can go to comp lab, they can go to crevice. I mean, you just, you gotta you always gotta take center of the map, and the Marines have done that very well this game so far. Yeah, they do, but it's just it's it's kind of unfortunate that. Uh, they're they're getting hit so hard. I mean, this is a rematch from earlier, uh, where I honestly don't remember if CF or CG cleaned up Lucky Flyers or not, uh, or LF rather. Um, I, I don't remember. To be totally honest with you, <laughs> I just know that uh, right now it's not looking good. If they could take sub, they could possibly do something. But maybe these two lurks, Bluesky and Jesus, can roll in and clean out Atrium. They don't have a phase gate in Atrium. And if aliens can establish Atrium, then they can at least get four res nodes. And that will give them some control. Start cutting off reactor core, cut off sub, and then that will cut Marines down to three res nodes, which is more than enough to keep them out of the bank. But with all those upgrades and no second hive... And only biomass one. I think they're so far down in bank, you know, so far in the hole that I don't know if they can actually make it happen. You know. Yeah, I, I do like the whip placement in uh, Summit Reception too. Just give, even if they try to push, they're still gonna do a little bit of chip damage before they even get to the hive. So it's gonna weaken them just a tad bit. What they really need to do though is they need to get that fade and the two lurks, and they really need to push on crevice. Maybe get a drifter for some enzyme or mucus. Would they go shell with some mucus and um, really pressure crossroads hard, try to push marine pressure out? You know, that's what I've been saying. Um, drifter play is really where it's at. Tico and Bluski now going around. Bluski is going to head off into summer reception. He's thinking about going to crossroads. That, that might be a bad idea as there are multiple marines in crossroads just waiting. Down in sub-axis, we have another phase gate, and I can't click, apparently. There we go. Another phase gate in sub. That's going to give them their triangle, their solid triangle. Three Marines down in comp lab are hitting the aliens natural. Gibbs is the only one there to defend, but he's not going to do much of anything. Bluesky now going down. That's an, a second lurk he's lost to a shotgun. Um, I don't know what's going on with him, but he is losing lurks left and right. Uh, that's not good with only one fade and one lurk on the field. Gibbs almost has enough to go Onos. Zesty almost has enough to go Onos. But at weapons three, armor two, shotguns, phase gates. Oh, Tico, Tico. There is down. going Tico. That is not good. Um, at this point, I don't think they can come back. Even with the Onoses, I think they're going to get rolled. They're going to walk in, and those th- weapons three Marines with shotguns are going to roll this cut right through those Onoses. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, that mucus is going to help, but the way the Marines are doing their own version of pack play, you see three here in comp lab. It's going to be it's going to be tough for the Onos to have any impact on the end game. Yeah, I, I I do like what you were saying though with the the placement of the whips, how they're slowly moving the whips up, but I think it's a little too late. Gibbs just went Onos. 
He's behind the hive. He's right here. Uh, he just came out of an egg. Zesty almost has enough to go Onos. He might need a few more res, but he could go non-Kara Onos, and that would probably be enough. But I don't think that this comp lab push is going to be able to cut off. Um, they need a Skulk or two to get by Summit Reception, which is not going to happen. Tap's got that locked down. I don't like that whip placement in Summit. It doesn't really cover this hallway. I, I don't like this. Um, that other whip is now sitting in... Uh, it's sitting in Summit. That was just taken down, so that's gone. I don't know why I'm typing. I'm trying to do stuff. Now we have Jesus and Gibbs pushing up into Summit, trying to take Tap and Hackers down. Hackers is going to come around the corner, try and trick that Onos into doing something silly, but that's not going to happen. Ha Hackers is going to get rolled over. Uh, those aliens are sort of coordinating. Gibbs and Zesty and Jesus and Blue Scare now all pushing up the atrium. It looks like they're going to go all the way around the reactor core and come down the glass hallway. I think the Marines... We're waiting for this to happen. They're waiting for the push. And I think they're going to figure out really quick that these aliens are going to push down into data core, it looks like. I don't know, but they're upgrading now. That's the carapace being dropped. That was the carapace evolved for the Onus. So now they have full Onus. Yeah, they, they just got scanned. They just yeah. got scanned, which is bad. So now those Marines know what's up. I'm assuming they're going to roll right into data core or crossroads, and one of two things is going to happen. They're either going to beacon data core and phase back and across, so they're all going to phase back across, which is exactly what's going to happen. That push gets shoved right off. All five Marines now going to chase those Onos down, at least chase them away. I would say, if you could, have a Skulk or two, maybe one Onos push to that core and see if you, they'll beacon or even come through. Have the other few aliens, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Just Lucas, the, go to Team 1 to play. Uh, that is not good. Shush. Shush, Mumble, shush. There's the beacon. Those aliens are going to piece out of there. Face. Phase. No, they're not gonna. Fa that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna phase over to Crossroads, and those aliens should know what's up. They're there. Now, see now they can get pinched very easy. You have yep. a couple in Cross and a couple from Data Core go right behind them in Glass Hallway. Onosis would be done. That's exactly what they should have done. I think they figured that out. Uh, they're walking back into Data Core. I think aliens are getting. They're trapping themselves because at this point, oh, Trance and Hackers, oh, okay. they're going for the power now. Ungodly tap coming through the phase gate. Gibbs, all of the Marines coming through the phase gate. There's no bio bomb. There's the beacon. Gibbs might go down. They might chase him. Zesty's definitely done. Uh, there goes all the upgrades. They might have a chance. If aliens rush the hive right now, they might have a chance. Gibbs has got almost no health. Gibbs is going to go down. Zesty's probably going to go down if they can focus. Jesus is trying to heal him. Zesty goes down, and then Gorge is going to go down. That is both Onus is gone. That is 68 res gone. Jesus is trying to jump around, trying to save himself. Please don't kill me. I'm only a poor Gorge. What am I going to do? I'm going to spit at Hackers until he goes away. He kills Hackers and saves his life, but the power goes up. There's all the upgrades. Jesus is going to get a shotgun blast to the face. There goes Jesus. Uh, now they're down to skulks. They have no higher life forms. They have no map position to work on anything. Comp lab phase game, while all that goes on, was getting bit on. But Tap kills Tico. Gibbs the only one left. They're going to phase through that gate. There's hackers to back him up. Gibbs is going to get taken out by those Marines. That is a solid hold. That is a solid defensive hold. Zesty now in the power on crossroads. He's going to get stuck up by Tap. Tap's going to take him out around the corner. There goes him. Jesus is going to come up, try and take out Tap. He's going to get taken out by Tap, by his pistol. Uh, the alien commander assisting into Crossroads, trying to kill these mines, trying to hurt this 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 power node so the Marines can get some form of pressure. But Tico and Beluski coming around the corner, followed up by Gibbs. Um, these mines going off because of the infestation. If you didn't know, mines are blow are exploded by infestation. So if you as a Marine, I'm sorry, if you as an alien commander come in and cyst into somewhere that has mines and they start spreading those mines will explode as the infestation touches them always a good tactic to clear mines um you know when you need to not exactly the most effective well not exactly the best on res counts but it works uh do you see the aliens yeah. coming back from this at all um uh, it depends i mean they're not in a terribly bad spot they do have two hives one's growing up oh, wait Mask saw it, and it's only at 75%, so he's probably going to communicate. If they can take down this hive, then most likely no. Um, but they are sitting on four RTs with two hives. Not a completed hive yet, but if they can if they can defend it, then they'll be in okay shape. Maybe they can save, you know, prolong the game long enough to get more Onos and uh, fades into the game to where they can put more pressure. 
all the aliens coming up, cleaning out Atrium, but that's definitely been communicated. I'm surprised all the Marines aren't pushing into Atrium right now. I think they're more worried about reestablishing crossroads, and then they're going to go push. But if it was me, I'd send all my Marines up into Atrium and start killing that uh, killing that hive, no matter the cost. But getting through Reactor Core is going to be a tough spot. Tico getting taken down by hackers, almost gone. Bluesky following shortly behind. Still no higher life forms. Bluesky has enough to go work a third time, but I don't know if he's going to. Tico has enough to go re uh, fade, and uh, Jesus has enough to go work. And apparently this is going to be a long game, so says the spectator, but I don't think so. I think <laughs> this might be over right here and now. Um, the hive's going to go up, but as it stands, these Marines are going to really push on uh, on res. I'm sorry, these Marines are really going to push these aliens out, especially if they go higher life forms again. You know, we have one Gorge and one Lurk. Jesus just went Lurk. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Blueski goes Lurk when he finishes. Gorge upgrades haven't been completed. Reactor Core is getting pressed by hackers. Um, if you could cast for a moment, I will be right back, Nexus, if you could do that. Okay. All right. We see here in Reactor Core, hackers is doing some damage to the infestation in RT, um, taking care of the whip. The whip is not on infestation, so it can't attack. It's a good time to kill it. Left-handed Jesus comes in behind hackers and can take him out. Um, he needs to hurry up and resist. There you go, dropping two cysts. Probably going to save that RT. Uh, aliens, aliens are not in a bad spot, actually. Believe it or not, if you look at the P res for the Marines, they are getting somewhat low. Uh, 42, 29, 40. That's only two shotguns. And if they rush jetpacks here before too long, you see they have an AA started. Um, that's 35 res a piece for jetpack shotguns. So they're going to need to be on their A game and stay alive if they want to keep their P res up. Um, other than that, map control does go to the Marines. So they do have cross, they have comp lab, they have data core. Um, sub axis is getting hit by left handed Jesus. Um, Bluesky is here in uh, ventilation trying to get the RT there down. Left handed comes in, clears up homo, and he's going to hit the RT for a minute. Over in Reactor Core, I'm back. Hacker's still pounding away at Reactor Core. I think he's making room for the oncoming push that Marines are going to make. Zesty coming around the corner, and it's going to probably pick off Hacker's as there's a crag right there. But followed shortly behind him is Web Trance. All Web Trance needs to do is shoot that Harvester. It's at 1%. It's going to go down naturally. Zesty is going to get taken out by a shotgun. Lucy's going to come around the corner and get taken out by a shotgun. Nope, I was wrong. He, got take, he took out Web Trance in the process. Sub access getting hit by Jesus. Uh, he's just hitting as much res as possible. Homo uh, Mass is going to get harassed by him, saving his bullets and choosing when to fire and when not to fire. I'm not exactly sure what's. They're just going to spar for a while. Uh, that Lurk is going to get out there. Jesus is gone. Vent RT is still not built. That was just destroyed, but it's been dropped. There's the scan. Reactor Core Zesty is going to get nailed by Web Trance. Um, I think they're prepping. They might drop a phase get up here. They might drop an Arc Factory. They could drop an Armory and just go AA. They do have an AA that's been finished, so they might be saving for jetpacks. Here come the fades. Uh, Hackers gets taken down while he builds the power. Web Trance is just now taking on Tico and Bluesky with his pistol. Not going to make much of a dent. Web Trance goes down. Like I said, man, this is this is LF's game to lose. They had complete map control, and uh, they they did not seize the opportunity to kill the Atrium Hive. Now they have two full-grown hives. They have uh, two spurs, three shells, and they've given them time to get their P-Res back up. As you can see, Tico has refaded. So it's just a matter of time before they have the Oni back on the field. I don't think it matters, though, with jetpacks researching. Once those jetpacks come out, weapons 3, armor 2, those fades are toast. Well, true, but you also have to look at the p res situation. They're not exactly banking very much. You have Web Trans, who, if he, he, he has the most, or no, Mask has the most at 51. Even then, you know, jetpack shotgun, if they take him out rather quickly, you know, they're not going to be able to get jetpack and shotties at the same time again. Tap right, sitting you know, back to back. Tap so. sitting outside of flight control and sniping down those shells. Um, again, those shells and all the upgrades right there. Not not the best place. They're not archable, but at the same time, Marines know exactly where they are. One grenade launcher right here could take all those upgrades down with a few shots. Uh, that's one GL that could take down all of their upgrades for the entire game. That's 60 res per 
per setup, so that's 120 res at four res nodes. 120 res is not easy to come by. So if those upgrades go down, I think that's going to be helping the Marines in winning this game is just go in and snipe those upgrades from, from the wall. Uh, you know, I, I don't like placement of... I don't like when you place upgrades all together. I think it's a silly idea. I don't know why people still do it. Yet... Schwa continues to build his upgrades right there, and I don't know why. Maybe he's worried about them getting taken out, but honestly, I would put them over right here in, um, sorry, right up on the south end of flight control, up here on the circle on flight control, maybe even on the res nodes. Just, you know, spread them out, hide them, put them away. Um, jetpacks are now finished, so are you? have you left me again, Nexus? No, no, I'm, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, what happens now? I mean... They've got a fade, no lurks, and no onuses. They've got drifter support finally. Hacker is going down to Tico. He's being he's holding reactor core quite nicely, but Comp Lab is still in marine territory. Uh, what happens now? See, this is what I'm saying. If you look at the T res, Tap just bought uh, JP Shoddy inserted masked. If they can take those guys out rather quickly before they have more P res, then they're not going to have the JPs. Um, so if they can if they can clear the marines out uh, pretty efficiently, then they still have a chance. They could they could buy time for the Onos to get out, and uh, the jetpacks won't be very much of an issue. True, um, it'll take a while for that res count that P res count to pull back up. You know where they can buy shotgun jetpacks. So they'll be immobile for a while. Three marines now pushing into flight control. This is a big push. I think they're going for the hive kill at this point. They want to end this here and now. Uh, Ungodly going straight for the upgrades. He knows what's up. Mast and Webtrans sort of flying about, flittering about in their hive. Let's take a first person, a third person view. Just let's go free form here, free cam. You see them using their distance on those shotguns, forcing the aliens to come at them in this long hallway, which is an excellent way you need to do it. Uh, it's preventing these Marines from getting caught up, especially with their ability to fly. You know, now you see that shift is echoing out those upgrades. They want to piece those out. They're presumably going up to Atrium. Um, this is excellent positioning on the Marines' part. What they're doing here is really good, Nexus. Blueski was got down real low. I believe he was down about 10-15% and Calm jumped out uh, to let Blueski into the chair so he could have time to heal. Which is smart. Uh, let me see. But I don't understand why Blueski... Oh, Blueski's a fade now. So you yes, have exactly. Tico and Blueski as a fade and Jesus as a lurk. Uh, they're trying to get these jetpacks, but they're constantly being healed. Their commander is doing an excellent job of dropping meds on top of Marines in mid-flight. There goes Schwa. Yes. That's one skulk. I don't know what's going on. They're beaconing him at it for safety. That yes. was a yes. safety beacon. They lost one. They did lose one. I, I guess think, they wanted to beacon him out before they lost too many. I think Ricky knows what's going on. I think he realizes that at this point they can't afford to lose those jetpack shotgunners because the Pires is still so mm. low. Um, but... Uh, you know, this, this this phase gate in Comp Lab is just holding these aliens down, but they have all reactor cores, so the map is kind of halfway split, you know? It's, it's I'm not going to say it's even, but it's it's getting there. A hacker's now with a grenade launcher, and he's going to do exactly what I said. He's going to aim for those upgrades. He's now going back into crossroads. They're making a big push. Here we go. Four Marines pushing up the glass hallway. They're going to make a big push, and I'm going to turn down my microphone because apparently I'm super loud. Um and I didn't notice it. Four Marines now pushing into Atrium. They're all trying to get, they're going to go immediately for this hive. Tico trying to take down hackers. He gets hackers. Mass taking on Jesus. So that is a lurk that is gone. Um, Tico, Webtrans taking down on Godly. Tap taking down oh, Gibbs. Man. That was a jetpacker loss. Friendly fire. Friendly hmm. fire. As you'll know, NSL maps are automatically 33% friendly fire, which is terrible if you don't know how to aim. Um, the Marines, the aliens still haven't made a push on this comp lab phase gate. I don't know what they're doing. They need to send one skulk down there while they make these pushes and kill this phase gate, try and regain some map control, which is exactly what they're doing. Ungodly and Tap are going to take Gibbs out. Jesus is going to come up right behind them, but they're only going in one by one. Blueski and Zesty now coming in behind Tap. He's going to just try and do some damage. He needs to be very careful. He's already lost three lurks so far this game. He can't afford to lose a fade. Uh, you know, they, none of them, the only one close to going Onos is Zesty. But I don't know how much he can do in terms of, you know, what what's going on with all these jetpacks. They're going to try and harass Res. Uh, Vent's been rebuilt. They're sitting on 
Marines are sitting on four Resnodes. Gibbs is going to come around and harass Ventilation RT. I think they know what's up. Up in Atrium, we got a big fight. Mast and Hackers trying to do the same thing they did earlier. Going to take on Tico. Tico going down to half health. Gonna, that is a beacon to save jetpacks. Defensive beacon to save jetpacks. Barely Man. got out with almost Mask anything. Barely got out on that one. Mast went black bar. Hackers was so close to black bar. I don't know why Mast just doesn't fill up health. He's just standing right there. He could just fill up. Maybe it's his armor, but no, he needs to fill up on health. Jesus coming in. He's going to try and poke and prod. Three spurs being completed. Two shells only have been completed, so they're still down on Carapace. Ventilation RT has gone down. Sub RT is still up. Marines are down to three RTs, one being built in Ventilation, one being built in Comp Lab. No, in I don't know where. They only have three res nodes. I don't know where the last one is. There's a fifth that's somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh... I don't know. It's back and forth. There's a big push in flight control now. Same thing as earlier. They're going to try it from the other side now, from comp lab side. They're trying to kill these phase, but they're weaving in and out of the shotgun blast. They're doing really nicely. Blueski going down really close to being dead. Tico also being close to dead. Hackers, Tab, and Mass have almost no health. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a defensive beacon at any point. The phase gate in comp lab is now gone. Jesus working on the RT. Tap taking down Zesty. Mass coming around, taking out left. Now... Flight control has been saved. Those fades need to push into comp lab right now. They need to push right here and kill that phase gate. They're going to come around the corner. Why are they being so defensive? These fades need to stop being so defensive. Kabluski taking a lot of damage, pulling them off that. They need to heal, get as much health as they can, and rush right back in there. Tiku needs to go prevent that phase gate from being up. It's halfway up. It's 0% built. There's 8%, 20%, 30%, 50%, 60%. 70% that phase gate's going back up. It's not going down anytime soon. Over in Crossroads, Ungodly taking out Gibbs. The phase coming, the fade coming in, Tigo coming in, trying to harass, poking, prodding, missing some swipes. Uh, React core being unsisted. It's sort of stalemated at this point. Uh, it's just a res game, and I something needs to break somewhere, and it looks like the best place is going to happen is going to be right here in comp, because that's the least offended. There's an armory wall for the upcoming Onos, which is going to be Zesty. He has 62 res. Uh, over in Crossroads, just a defensive armory and a phase gate. No second chair on the Marine side. At this point, with yeah. all this res flow, I would have at least dropped a second chair and sub. That that armory is not going to block the Onos. He's going to be able to come right up here to the left side from flight control. It's too big of a gap there. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to give my hats, uh, you know, props to Rookie, man. The calm for the Marines, he has been spot on with those med packs. And that's gonna be, it, it, he's been making it so tough for... The, uh, for the aliens to to kill him, basically, because you know when the when the comms accurate like that with med packs, it's it's very very tough, especially with upper armor like armor three, armor two. It takes four swipes for Fade to begin with, but if you get meds, it can take anywhere from five to six swipes, which is way too long for Fade to engage. So. It Props to Ricky. Yeah, I mean, those are excellent med drops. They're keeping those Marines alive. And he's smart. He knows when to pull his Marines out. He knows when to get them out of there. Um, Zesty coming around the corner with, they just worked on Onos upgrades. If the Marines can, if the aliens can keep the Marines off jetpacks and they can get them ground-based, those Onos upgrades will definitely help them. Over <coughs> in Flight Control, I'm missing a huge fight. I'm sorry. Mast and Webtrans trying to harass Flight Control as much as possible. Blueski trying to take as much damage. Missing a bunch of swipes all over the place. Jesus popping out of an egg. He's going to try and take these two down, push them back into the whip. Mast taking down Jesus. Blueski almost taking down Mast. It's trying to take him down, but it's just not those, happening. Those med packs, man. Those med packs. Those med packs and those miss swipes are killing these fades, man. You know, I don't know what to. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, Bluesky's missed a lot of bites and a lot of swipes and a lot of stuff. Now we have a phase gate up in crevice. Hackers getting meted as much as possible with an LMG. Bluesky taking him on. It looks like he might take him down. Might push it off. There's Tico to defend it. That was a phase gate. <laughs> Apparently Hang gives. On. I'll yeah. be right back, man. Okay. Nexus is going to leave us for a second. Up in React Core, Tab is going to harass this. Over in Flight Control, Web Trance and Mass are, are going to harass this Flight Hive uh, as much as possible. Continue doing the same thing. It's a sort of a back and forth. There's no real push. This is only round one. We're going on 34 minutes now. Onus upgrades have been finished. These teams are essentially fully teched up. They're getting real close to fully teched up. Um, what, uh, what, what CG needs to do is they need to take 
left-handed Jesus, and they need to take Gibbs and let their higher life forms do their job, get behind the phase gates, and bite the res. They need to get somebody. It's like, let's look at Jesus down in sub. He is doing a very good job. Take take the take the res down. If you look at the resources, man, 16 in 35 minutes. That's not very good. That's one in over two minutes, one per two minutes. That's That's not very good. So if they can get behind them, especially in the late game, cut their res off you can already see they're already kind of low uh, mask is the only person that can get jetpack shotguns again and then he's going to be he's going to be down on the ground too with the shotgun so keep biting that res the two the two uh, rts and vent and in uh sub access are down so they're now down to three they can keep that up and basically res res starve the marines in the late game i'm not sure how mast and web trance are surviving over and over and over and over and over again. They cannot die. I mean, they turn God mode on, and they just roll, are rolling into flight control. <laughs> they won't die. They get Lusky. them down to almost no health. Mm. Lusky going down to half health. Tico going down to half health. I mean, they're good shots. I think CG needs to move that whip up out of where it is. It needs to get off the RT, stop pumping the RT, and, and start moving up sort of in between the rocks here, between the rocks and the box and the wall, and try and hold these Marines off, because it's, it's, it's not really doing anything. It's a defensive whip on the RT, but it's not doing anything. I'm just curious why Hackers has a GL. Yeah, it could do a lot of structure damage, but with friendly fire, it's almost not even worth it. You could, one, one misplaced grenade, even at 33% damage, it's still doing a lot of damage to your friends. I don't know. It is doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, he's going for those upgrades. I think he doesn't realize that they're gone. Um, there goes web trance. There goes a the jetpack. Uh, Mast is close behind. Hackers is still trying to. Uh, these Marines are super low. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a defensive beacon. Mast is black barred. He is going out of there. Bluski's going to follow up behind him. Tap's going to go down to Tico, maybe. But he's getting meted like crazy. <laughs> Jesus going down. Oh, man. Now in main base, a cis chain being put into data core. I think CG just wants to end this. I think Schwab just wants to call it a day and end this. I think he's done with this. Um, well, that's that's very good. That's Schwab's doing a good job because if it's not enough to focus on trying to take down a hive, you also have to worry about infestation in your base, which is not good. You see Zesty here. He's, he's hitting. I didn't get what that is. Is that the OBS there? Yes. Uh, sorry. I, I apparently realized I didn't have my delay server up. Or I don't know if I had my delay server up. Maybe I did. Uh, oh, Zesty's getting low. Bone wall missed getting... tap. Yeah, man. Why aren't you bone walling? You need a bone wall. There goes Zesty. He did, he did bone wall, but he missed tap. And oh, Zesty went down. That sucks. That's a dead Onos. That's that's the third Onos they lost now. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that was Zesty's second Onos. So there goes that complab phase gate. These fades are gonna hit this gate, but they're not doing anything to it. Fades don't do any damage to buildings. If you didn't know, Bluesky's smart. Gets out of there. Tico's gonna get hit by the armory. He's gonna piece out of there. That gate is still up. Over in ventilation, Ungodly's gonna weld that up in reactor core. Oh, up in reactor core. <laughs> Give to Jesus. Give Jesus running over hackers. Uh, at this point, I mean it's a stalemate. You know, Marines are pulling enough res off the map to get jetpacks over and over and over again and aliens are getting enough res to pull life forms over and over and over again uh, I just saw an arc lab go down and comp lab that got knocked out that was a blueprint I think they're going to go for the arc push at this point I I don't know that, honestly. that phase gate's down to 31% in comp lab it is but the entire marine team is there defending it they know the cost there's the robotics factory right there here's what's going to happen uh Rookie is going to drop this Arc Factory. He's going to research it as soon as it's finished. We're going to see Arc Factory research in a few seconds. Once it's ready, once he has enough res, as soon as there's the Arc Factory research. Jesus knows about that. Gorge upgrades are done, but we have one Gorge. That's Gibbs. What's going to happen is Bluesky and Tika, we're going to sit in flight control. We're just going to sit here. We're going to pop over to Crossroads real fast while these skulls try and work on this phase gate. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. They're going to get pushed out. Bluesky's going to hit on Godly. He's going to fly away. All right. That skull goes down in, com in ventilation. Uh, the first arc, there's the arc factory. Now the first arc is being produced. What's going to happen is all he's going to produce maybe one to two to three arcs. They're going to roll up, down this hallway, and maybe right about there. And then it's going to have to be next to that pillar, that that first pillar in flight control in order to hit the hive. It's going to be right here, right on that line. That's the line of scrimmage at this point. So what's going to happen is arcs are going to set up there. Gibbs is going to come back. 
Oh, uh, everybody is gonna. I should probably go to Crossfit real fast. There we go. Tico flying around with Bluesky again going down to low health, getting chased down by these jetpacks. They get out of there with full health, doing very little. There goes the drifter. There's two arcs, three arcs that I can count. Um, and they're going to set up right on this pillar, and they're going to run those arcs up there, and they're just going to shoot the aliens from a far distance. Gibbs is the only one who has, who's the only gorge. So what's going to happen is if I was rookie, I would tell my Marines, just wait till we get these arcs up, wait till Gibbs shows up with that gorge, and shoot the gorge. Don't worry about anything Another, else. Ooh. Kill, kill the gorge. Another Onos. Uh, he's in the hive. He's Jesus, in the hive now. They, Jesus is in the hive. Himself. He did save himself. That was a risky play. They came right after him. Uh, it it looks like this still might might be ended. There's no gorge tunnel between reactor core and flight control though. So if Gibbs doesn't know, he, that's got to be communicated. I mean, come on. There's no way that Gibbs doesn't know about these these arcs. Right? Right? Nexus? He's gone. Here we, we have a base push. Jesus is going to roll in there with Gibbs in the data core. That's going to get pushed off. They might get chased down. They need to stop worrying about that. These arcs in comp lab, I count one, two, three, four, five arcs at this point. That is more than enough. Oh, man, here we go. Go check out Glass Hallway right now, Nexus. If you're around, go check out Glass Hallway. What's right. up? We have a double push. One in data core. They're going for the sentry battery. There's the beacon. They're going to chase Jesus down. Jesus get a better get the hell out of Dodge. He is going to be totally foobar. Comp Lab, he's going through that cross. Onus, he's going through, cross. He's going through cross. That is a bad idea. That is a big no-no. Jesus is going to round that corner. Web Trance is going to take down. He's going to go down. There goes Jesus. That is an Onos down. That is Onos number four. Here we go. The Arcs are going to push and kill as much stuff as they can in Comp Lab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Arcs. Seven Arcs. Wow. Oh, man, that's going to rip those things apart. They're going to push up and kill this crag and that RT. Look at that. The RT didn't even stand a chance. It just went down. Those going to hit these whips right here in this egg. That's going to go down. That's their main base RT. Those are those whips. Those arcs are now going to undeploy. They're going to round this corner and set it right there on that line of scrimmage right there by that pillar. Blues keep coming around the corner. They know what's up. I don't know where Gibbs is. That gorge is right there. That is what's going to happen. They're going to chase that gorge. He's trying to arc, but those Marines know what's up. They're going to chase Gibbs down. He is a dead man walking. Bluesky coming up, trying to save his life. Gibbs getting out with one health. So close. Mast is low, 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 low. Those arcs are moving up. These two arcs are glitched. Oh, oh power whoa. Down. Hold on, sir. That is a big deal. Missed all these whips being pushed up. They sisted into their base, took out all the upgrades. Now the aliens need to roll over these Marines right now. These arcs going down to Gibbs. Those are going to get whipped. Sorry, those are going to get piled. All these whips are in their main base. There's the AA. <coughs> There's the jet. There's the uh, phase gate. My voice is cracking. Oh, it hurts. Tico's going to try and take on tap. Gibbs takes down all the arcs. Tico's cleaning up everybody. Ungodly's the only one in the chair. No one's spawning. There are no chairs. There are no IPs anywhere around. There's a ghost chair in data core. Wow. 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 Oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> what do you say to that? Oh, wow. CG wins. Oh, what is that? They just turned that around with a whip rush. Oh, that was good. Wow. Oh, that was good. Oh, wow. wow. That was classy as we, hell. We, <laughs> we completely missed it, too, until the entire base went offline. We saw all the armor and weapon upgrades gone. Whoa. I completely missed it. Did you see that? that? Nice. Very, very good by Schwa. Wow. Good. Oh. That was good. I need to turn my microphone down. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm going to go get some water, man. I'll be right back. That is a good idea. You should do that. I'm... Wow. Let's turn it up a little bit. I'm sorry if I blew anybody's speakers out. I hope not. Um. Wow.
I don't even know. What are you saying? To that? I mean, come on, that's amazing. <laughs> Just whip rush data core. They didn't even contaminate. They sisted into their base and dropped the whips. And they were just waiting in reactor core. That's what that was earlier in reactor core. Those glass hallway whips. That's what that was. They were just waiting, waiting for their opportunity, and they took it, and it paid off. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, oh. Wow. I I don't even know. What I do know is my throat hurts a lot. Ow. <laughs> Ow. There's the main beast music, so we're just gonna sit here and chill and crossroads for a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some water. I will be right back. I'm still, I'm really, really right. in shock by that. That was an excellent, excellent turnaround. I just, I just wish I'd have seen it coming. I, I completely missed it. I was paying so much attention to those arcs, I wasn't even focused. Like, I thought that was going to end the game right there and then, but that's what I was talking about in Glass Hallway earlier, when they had that push with the Onos in the Gorge. Yep. They, were, they were going for that push, and right behind them, they set those arcs up, or those whips up in that hallway, and I think they were just moving them up, readying for a a push, because they knew those Marines would never come off that side. They were too busy with Comp Lab in that phase gate. And that was just... That was nicely done. I'm surprised the Marines even let those cysts go in. I think that's exactly why... I think, you know what? Here's what happened. <coughs> I, I'm betting Schwa told that... Jesus, that Onos, to go in there and hit that sentry battery. Because that's what he went after. He didn't go after anything else. He went immediately after the sentry battery. He walked in, killed the sentry battery, and ran out. He got nailed in the process, but he killed the sentry battery. Now, they could have easily rebuilt it, so I guess it's a kind of a gamble, but they killed that sentry battery, and in the process allowed Schwa to assist into their base. Now, Marines, for whatever reason, I guess after a while, you know, after the alien comp just sits in your base, you're like, whatever, they're just sisting in. They don't have the ability to the heart, um, contaminate, so it doesn't really doesn't matter. That's that's what I mentioned earlier when, when all the focus was on flight and you saw Schwa uh, assisting in a dead end event. It's like, you, you got to really, really be careful about that because that will happen. You can just walk whips in and that, and that you know, exactly, exactly what happened is what I, was gonna, what I said was going to happen. You've always, always, always got to watch the infestation in your base. Always. Yeah. They didn't have Biomass 9, so they couldn't contaminate. That's the only way they could have done it. We're going up on the second round after Calamity pulls out that, what I could only describe as a last-minute clutch win. That's the best I can describe after this. Um, I definitely want to talk to Schwa after this is over, so let's talk to him. Calamity Gaming, starting down in sub-access, up in Atrium. You have the full Team LF. Hackers going immediate gorge. Crag Hive being started right off the bat. A four push off to the right oh, side of the map. Not live. No, that was an NL. We're going to ignore everything that happened because they were 5 6 and we're going to ignore everything that happened. So Gibbs crashed. We're, I didn't even change my graphics. So whatever, it didn't matter. We're just going to set on my graphic. <laughs> Tico. <laughs> there is somebody. Gibbs is back, apparently. We're going to maybe do this again. I need to mute whoever that is. That is him. Hello there. And him. And. That should be that. Yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, that was uh, 
and we're just waiting for the start. So, ah, uh, this this audio situation. I bet my audio is way hot, honestly. In the first match, I bet my my microphone audio is like super hot. That's really frustrating. I I still don't know how other people do this and, and sort of set it up. I can't do another round after this. I'll do a post game. In fact, schwa. Just have him come in to spectate. I will have him come in to spectate, or he can Skype me, whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> That's good. That was good. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, all right, so we just set up a post-game interview. Schwa is going to talk to. Uh, Schwa will speak while we'll talk to us post-game on screen, and then shots fired. Pew pew. Here we go. I'm gonna try and also get a interview with Rookie. If you want to stick around for that Nexus, that would be more than appreciative if you do that. If you're down, Nexus. No, oh, I'm sorry. What? Billy, there I heard Billy talking to me. Sorry. Oh, um, if you're down with a post game interview, I'd be more than happy to have you come in and, and join me. That's fine. I'll do it. Awesome. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of Rookie real fast. Set that up. Uh, rookie, 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 Rookie. There you are, Rookie. We got quite a few people streaming this scrim. I do. I have four viewers, a whole four viewers, and I love <laughs> and appreciate every single one of them. We got your your streaming. Uh, Gibbs is streaming. Yay. Quite a few people. Yay. Waiting for LF to start this game. Just waiting, 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 waiting. <laughs> I manually try and attempt. Well, I guess I'll get a game. get a raffle cast for ten viewers. Uh, I don't. I don't have money for a raffle pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Red Dog, and I don't have Red Dog's cash flow, so that ain't gonna happen. But here we go. 15 seconds, 10 seconds till we start round two of the Calamity Gaming Lucky Flyer scrim. Switch over to our main screen. Five, four, three, two, one, and spawn. Boom. Marines starting up in Atrium, always an interesting spawn. That's Calamity Gaming. Down in sub access, we have Lucky Effers. Um, it looks like Hackers and Pronto, Pronos are AFK. Pronos looks to be AFK. I don't know what he's doing. Hackers is going Gorge. Got a 3-2 yeah. split in Reactor Core. I don't know what Zesty's doing. He kind of didn't do anything. Pronos is AFK. I don't know if they're going to re... They, they need to call Not Live They soon. need to call Not Live in two minutes or less. That's the rules in NSL. Ooh, NSL 30, rules stay... 30 seconds. 30 no. seconds. Is it 30 seconds? 30 seconds. There's Pronos. He is... Oh, there's a re. AFK, re. We are re again. There's the re. I think we just started. I'm just going to leave it up. Unless I'm, unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure that NSL and the World Championship rules are similar in, in regards to the not live. I'm pretty sure it's 30 seconds. I know the World Championship is 30 seconds because I've been, uh, I'm, I'm also a ref for the World Championship, and that's one of the rules that they stressed a lot. Um, but as far as NSL, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I would imagine it's probably about the same time, though. As far as I remember, unless they've changed it, it's two minutes into the game. You have two minutes as a team to call re. Um, or not live. That's as far as I understand. But I'm not a ref and I haven't done it. We're going back into the game now. Ten seconds. We are all here apparently. Third oh, time's a charm. Third here time's we a charm. We're going to do this. Three, two, one. Hopefully. OMG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on. We're going to figure out what happens. Calamity Gaming starting again up in, in uh, Atrium. Yeah. What? Oh, come on. Seriously? What are we doing, Bluesky? Uh, we're just going to go with it. trolling. 3-2 split out of Atrium. 2-2 two, two split out of Sub-Access, which is where LF started. 
two pushing a flight, two pushing across. They're going to roll right over Tico and Bluski when they walk around this corner. Uh, Web Trance and Gorge coming up from behind. Pronos and Ungodly coming up from the front. They're going to do some major damage. Maybe Web Trance and Gorge are going to wait until this third rolls up. Nope, they're going to push up. Web Trance is going to come up. Web Trance, I'm sorry, Ungodly being taken down with Tico. Tico taking down Web by Web Trance. Gorge, what are you doing? Get in there with your team. Oh. Gorge. What's he? What are you doing, Gorge? Gorge? Is well behind. There's it's, hackers. He just watched for the health. Gorge, the actual Gorge, gets in, taking down Zesty. But Webtrance is getting so low health. Takes down left handed on a clutch kill. This Gorge is just like, hey guys, what's up, man? I'm gonna just like, what's up, man? I don't. Even I'm not. Know. I'm not exactly sure what Jetson was doing. He had two of his teammates going, but he ended up getting Zesty as he was straggling in from behind. So. I guess it worked out for him. I don't know if that was thought out entirely. Um, we have a Gorge Tunnel going down in Crossroads now. Uh, okay position, if if I would say so myself. I don't particularly care for that position for a Gorge Tunnel. Like I said a few games ago, I don't know if it was this match or not, but I don't really care about uh, that Gorge Tunnel up on the tech point. I think it's silly, and everyone knows about it, and it's dumb. Um, Gorge now, Gorge spitting, not even bothering to get into the fray. He's no battle gorge, I can tell you that much. Pronos taking down Bluesky and holding it for the aliens at this point. Uh, what do you think about this gorge tunnel location, Nexus? I want to hear your opinion. Well, normally if you watch a lot of higher div, uh, higher div teams, they usually put a gorge tunnel right next to the um, RT spot. That way they can save on, on beginning, or, uh, beginning res and save their cysts. A, you know the Gorge Tunnel does spread infestation on its own, so they could actually take crossroads with infestation without even assisting into it and, you know, grab the RT. So that's probably where I would have put it first. When I pop back up into crossroads the next time, I'll tell you where I was like, fine, and I'll, I'll describe it. Um, we have one Marine over in Datacore pushing down to ventilation. Aliens are really aggressively assisting around the map. I'm kind of wasting res, honestly. Weapons 1 has just been started by the Marines, and Craghive has been started by the aliens. Gorge is sort of playing with Tico and Zesty as Haggard sort of backs off. Down in Fabrication, I'm sorry, Ventilation, um, Bluesky taking on Pronos. They're on the back wall there. Left hand of Jesus is going to come around the corner and snipe off Pronos off the wall. Most likely he's going to try at least. Uh, pop shotting, trying to get some clutch shots off of him. Jesus sort of backing up, trying to get some distance on him. Uh, Pronos getting a Parasite hit on Jesus. He's going to back off. Over in Comp Lab, Zesty and Tico are going to hit this res. Uh, maybe kill. It doesn't look like any backup. Pronus is still working on Jesus. I don't know what's going on with him. That is not where I wanted to be. That is not the view. Well, I was way too late. Jesus now taking down Pronos, and I was way late on that reaction. Um, Good early pressure on the alien naturals, though. That's what they need to keep up the pressure. It is. Really they can do this all game. They'll basically starve the aliens. Yep, that's exactly. I don't know what Hackers is doing. That is a huge mistake. What is he doing? Hackers needs to get out of there. He should know better than that. He needs to piece out of that. Slide down that hill. Belly slide, Gorge. Belly slide. Ungodly trying to follow up behind him, protect him. Gibbs knows what's up. He knows that Gorge is low. He's going to chase that Gorge. Ungodly comes up behind him. Gibbs is trying to save his life. He gets taken down by Webtrance. That is done. That Gorge was silly. Now in main base. Drifter goes down in main base. Zesty and Tico are taking on Rookie. Rookie's out of the chair. No more alien calm. There goes a drifter. There's a shell <coughs> right below those two Marines. They can't help but notice it. There it is. They just found that. There's nobody coming back to base. There's a gorge in the tunnel that might come back to base, might not. I think they're expecting. There goes the shell. <laughs> Zesty is just trying to reload. Uh, one shell lost. Shotgun started for the aliens. Rookie jumps out of the hive. Trance jumps, spawns. Hackers pops out of the gorge tunnel. Tico and Zesty are going to go down, but damage done. One shell lost. That's 20 red. That's sucks. Yeah, early game, I don't know if I would have dropped a shell that soon. And for that reason alone, one shell's not going to make that big of an impact. Plus, it's 20 res, so if you lose 20 res right off the bat, it's going to be tough. It's kind of similar to losing an IP within the first 30 seconds as a Marine. It's yep. it's very tough to recover from that. Yep, 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 yep. Now that we're pushing back in the cross, Jesus is going to try and take on Godly. There's a shade right there um, in the middle of, obviously, Jesus just found that. There's a shade in the middle of cross. So since we're here, I might as well talk about where I like to put my, my gorge tunnel. Instead of putting it up next to the tech point like I see everybody do, which I think is stupid, I actually go, depending on what side I'm on, let's say I start in sub-access, and let's say the other team starts in HM, right? You're going to have a, a split. Um, 
you know what? Better example. Let's start. Let's say the aliens start in data core. Marines start in flight control. Normal spawns happens all the time. By the way, web trance is the first lurk on the field, so there's that. Bluesky and Zesty are pushing into crosswinds. What I like to do is, if I'm the aliens on data core side, some pressure over here. Hackers is really overconfident. Gorge and just paid the price for it. Followed by ungodly. Two marines in data core. That lurk's gonna come in. Maybe web trance. I think is smarter than that. Knows not to mess with those marines. Tico's gonna get some health and push him off. Uh, back to my point, since I should make it quick. I put my gorge tunnel right there, behind those boxes. Right next to those boxes, right there. That's where I put my gorge tunnel. I surround it with clogs, and I put a hydra right there, or right there. Um, oh, the box is near your glass hallway? The box is near glass hallway in crossroads on that L junction mm -hmm. right there. Right. That's where I put my gorge tunnel, and I do that because let's say I start in data core. It's not the main tech point, so Marines don't immediately go to it and kill it. It's not out in the open, so Marines can't immediately shoot it from anywhere in the room. They have to actually go to glass hallway or over to crossroads. They're protected by the box on the crossroads side, and it's in a long hallway in grass hallway, which is kind of a bad thing, but it's protected by clocks. So aliens can easily get behind uh, the Marines and take them out. Over in Comp Lab, those two Marines taking out that Comp Lab Harvester, Ventilation Harvester suffering the same fate. They just lost two Harvesters. They're down to one. I'm sorry, two Harvesters. They were up to four. They only have Sub and Cross, which is not enough. There's almost no alien pressure on uh, Marine Extractors. It's only two to four right now. Um, what what do, Nexus? <laughs> what do? I don't know. They're, the constant pressure on the Naturals is never good. They got a phase gate going up, but they built it before the power, which is usually not a good idea. If you see a phase gate go up in comp lab as well, it could be very, very bad for uh, LF that's as exactly, aliens. That's exactly what just happened. Yep, and that's what they're doing. Yep, blueprint for a phase gate going down. We should probably talk about why it's a silly idea to build things before the power. You want to you want to talk about it? What is the defensive beacon? Defensive beacon up in Atrium. Uh, all the aliens up in Atrium, they're going to piece out of there. Hackers is the only one. Hackers is really overconfident. I, I'm just gonna point. I'm just gonna say it. Hackers is overconfident, and he needs to learn to back off. Agree? Oh yeah. yeah I mean, if if if, he, if he's confident in his you know battle gorge's um, techniques or his ability, um, then more power to him. But hopefully, maybe after this game, he'll see that maybe battle gorge just isn't quite for him. Because normally, battle gorge isn't one gorge by himself. That's usually. Not very smart. Usually have backup, you know, more of like a backup to more skulks also. Marie Marine is down in sub-axis, gonna pressure this high rookie getting out of the chair. Web Trance coming around the corner as that were, harassing Tico and Zesty, but Gibbs, Tico and uh, uh, Zesty all have shotguns. Tico's goes down, that's one shotgun down. The work is gone, Web Trance is dead. There goes Hackers. Rookie is out of the chair still, no calm. Uh, ungodly coming in, backing up three shotgun pressure team. Craghive is super low. Craghive sitting at 62% in sub access, 57% now. Um, they're still egg locking the team. This is going to be really bad if they kill this hive. I'm going to be very impressed if they do. Web Trance being taken down by Zesty. Zesty being taken down by Gorge. Gibbs taken down Gorge. Gibbs seems to be out of ammo. Bluesky coming around the corner, on God, taking down Ungodly. Rookie now trying to get out. These aliens are just getting rocked by these shotguns. They're using this distance. See over in this corner here? They're using that distance to their advantage. That's exactly what they should be doing. The sub axis hive, 47%. They're going to take a few more shots on it, see if they can get some damage. They're going to weld each other, wait till engage. Ungodly now getting picked off by an LMG. Gorge getting picked off by an LMG. Uh, they're going to come around that corner. Zesty now with that LMG coming around the corner, backing up his friends. 44 on that sub hive. That might go down, it might not. Even if it doesn't go down, that's a lot of damage. These skulls are getting absolutely rocked. They cannot not respond. They have to respond to this threat. They have to solve this threat. There's two Marines left. Jesus is just like a walking tank. They're just rolling over these. They're spawning eggs after eggs after eggs after eggs. It is so much res and eggs that they're just getting killed over and over and over and over again. And now here's two more Marines. Bluesky and Gibbs coming around the corner. Two LMGs, two shotguns. That is four Marines in their main base. Jesus taking down Dusty with a shotgun blast in the face. Friendly fire for the win. Um, Jesus up over. Bluesky on the side. An LMG off somewhere else. Uh, this is not good. This is very, very bad. This hive is really hurting right now. Well, do you think they're going to kill it, Nexus? I think so, man. They're, they're doing a pretty good job at controlling these spawns. Of, uh, of the aliens, and they can't even go fade right now. 
Uh, you see they have four four players with 43 res, and uh, they can't even safely go fade right now, which would be very beneficial. They could but spawn if they did, the if they had though. two... Yeah, but if you have two people go and fade, then you won't be able to defend your hive. That's, that's the whole... The you're you're going to wait 30 seconds to go fade, and in that time, that, that, that hive is going to be destroyed. There's the so. GG from mm -hmm. Calamity right there. So well, that is two one, o. 1 No. Yeah. 2-0, man. Two. CG won last one with that epic whip rush. Oh, no. Wait a minute. That was the wrong team that called GG. That was CG that called GG. Perp. Perp. Um, we're going to ignore that, GG. I think that was just a friendly reminder that we're, we're punching you in the face right now. Um, we're going to ignore that. Official rules. Can you... Talk about official rules here, please, Nexus, when it comes to GG's. Uh, GG's actually do not matter. Um, if someone calls GG, you continue to play until the title uh, of the team wins. Whenever the, the in-game graphic that says Calamity Gaming wins or LF wins, that's that that's the official point. So 10 minutes in, you could say GG, but it doesn't matter. you got to keep playing until that graphic shows. Is what, what, and that's NSL rules, correct? Yes, and World Championship rules. Okay, so... But it's generally, if a calm on one team calls GG, that's generally it. Yes, yeah, If they once they have four and everybody's gone to the ready room, they have to wait at least until the graphic shows. That That is the official win. Aliens have a good chance. Again, Pronos getting rocked by Gibbs. Aliens have a really good chance to go fade. They need to go fade right now. They don't have any other choice. Ungodly needs to go fade. Uh, Pronos needs to go fade if he can. Uh, Jetson needs to go fade. Pronos can't go fade until two res from now, but he needs to do it. Gibbs trying to take on Webtrans, getting punch him in the face with that shotgun. Says, no, this is my house. Up in Atrium. Hacker is taking on Tico. Uh, ha taking down Tico. Taking on Blueski. Blueski takes down Hacker with a shotgun blast to the face. Left side of the map is kind of clear. If Aliens can clear out Crosser, they can possibly get a stand back and clear out Sub and get their hold back. But I don't see it happening until they go fade. But uh, no one's going fade. Why aren't they evolving? What are they doing? I, I honestly don't know. They, don't, they should take this time after the hive to go to cross and evolve. They have the time. They have the money. They have the res to drop a mist. They just need to drop fades right next to the hive and evolve. And drop a mist and just do it. But no one's done it. And no mm -hmm. one's looked to be doing it. Like, what what are you doing? Go Go fade. You have res. Spend it. Like, what are you saving it for? Like, you're taking on weapons one armor one shotguns with phase gates all around the map they've got map control you don't seem to be too much doing much damage to anybody as a skulk why don't you try something different we've got an entire team of, of, of skulks nobody they don't even have a comm aliens have zero comm zero comms weapons two has just been started i don't know what to say about that what do they're russian they're russian atrium are they all russian five atrium? all five are russian atrium we're Oh, godly stuck, stuck in uh, reactor. There's the obs tower. Go after the arms lab. Go after the arms lab. Have Don't worry about the chair. Don't worry about the chair. Oh, they might do it. Halfway down, 50%. They, they did drop that, of course. 20% on that chair. What is it? 30%. They need to have chairs down. They need to hurry up and get the They need to go to data core right now. They need to send that drifter blueprint. to data core. Send a drifter to data core. There's a drifter. Drifters killed blueprints. Go. Send a drifter to data core. Let's go. We're going to get data core built. They are going to get the Adicor belt, and they're going to save Atrium. There's no pressure in Atrium. They need to walk in an Atrium and... What are they doing? They're going all over the place. Go to Atrium. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Stop it. <laughs> they're going all over the place. Go well, to Atrium. Just, I mean, I'm sure they were probably just running around wondering where that blueprint was. Go to they're Atrium and kill the team. hive. Go to Atrium and take out the buildings. Take out the phase gate. Oh, that was badly planned. That was stupid. There's the blueprint for Atrium. There you go. Pointless rush. Absolutely pointless rush. Tico getting out, building the chair. He's going to build the obs. That was stupid. One skulk down in vent. He's going to get knocked off by Zesty and Jesus. That's gone. Comp lab totally unaffected. Flight control RT being dropped and built by Blueski. What the hell was that? I, I ask you. I, had, I, don't, I honestly don't know. It was a good rush, but they should have been able to find that find that chair if they had found the chair good job but they just failed on that and now Pronos <laughs> is finally going fade it's 14 and a half 15 minutes there's the scan they know what's up uh this might be gg right here man if that fade if they roll up i don't think it comes out of the hive blueski's the only one there blueski gets hit Pronos, but Pronos is an over he over commits so they're going for another rush 
Pronos going after Gibbs, but you know Pronos isn't. He, he, he's, o he's overly aggressive. He's going to lose that fade. I guarantee you he's going to lose that fade. He's over going off by himself, too. It's never good. Where is he? I don't even know. He's coming off the He's an atrium. He's backing up. He knows that's not smart. Uh, Ungodly's chilling behind there. You know what would have been smart? Go in the atrium, hit the OBS tower, then hit the arms lab, and then hit everybody else. That way you kill their weapon and armor upgrades. They still have shotguns, but you don't have all that power behind them. That's that's what I would have done. I, I advocate going after arms labs all the time. People think it's stupid and silly, but it, usually teams only have one arms lab per game. They don't ever build two. I always make the opportunity to build two arms labs because you have one main in main base, and you have a second in, in, a, in another base or somewhere else. Pronos coming around that corner meeting Jesus, Lusky, and Zesty, knowing that the silly idea is <laughs> Jesus just rolling up into their home, rolling up into their base. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just going to track, track shit all over your carpet and you know, roll up on your crap. That's going to be that. Like, <laughs> they're just letting it happen. And they just scan flight, and that hive's going to go down oh, very fast. There goes that flight control hive. It's That's only 40 res. 9%. Zesty's going to pop it. Pronos, there goes the hive. Zesty did his job. He's going to go down, but he did his job. One RT, 40 res, just lost. That's uh, that's bad. Dude, he blind dropped that hive. That was stupid. I'll, I'll call mm. it out. That was dumb. You don't blind drop hives, ever. That's I don't even know. Like, You just don't do it. That was not thought out. That was not put together. Like I, That was not right. Why is Pronos like walking? He's not walking around the map. Have you noticed that? No, I haven't been watching him. <laughs> Watch Pronos real fast. Just keep an eye on Pronos. We're gonna, we're gonna sit on Pronos. See how he's walking, and crouching. He's not blinking his way around the map. He's not moving fast. He's just hanging about. You know, jetpacks have just been started. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know why he didn't go after Jesus this then, because he's, go after one of them. They're both separated. Get him. That's one, one thing you want to do as a fade. Pick them apart as they leave each other. You know. We got some pressure and cross. Gibbs coming in doing the same thing he did last time, egg locking them. Now there's two eggs and cross. Um, Rookie and Ungodly are dead. They just spawned. They might get taken out by that shotgun. They might not. Gibbs goes down to a, a hydra. <laughs> and that drifter's still there in flight, and it's going to go down. Yep, there goes the drifter. Boom, gone. Now they have a chair in sub axis, a ghost chair, a backup ghost chair. Weapons 3 has just been started. Jetpacks are halfway done. Here's what's going to happen, folks Jetpacks are going to finish. Um, Schwa's gonna beacon everybody back to. There's the beacon. In the data core. There's no phase gate. They should probably drop a phase gate. It's in vent, so that's a good place to put a phase gate. Uh, here's what I would do I would get jetpacks, finish jetpacks, drop a beacon in Atrium, which is exactly what's gonna happen. Pronus might get picked. Why not? They're all gonna buy jetpacks. Yep. Right? They're all going to the prototype lab. They're all buying shotguns. Tico's got a shotgun. blues has got a shotgun. Jesus got a shotgun. Gibbs has a rifle. He doesn't have enough for a shotgun. Zesty has 87 res. Have you looked at that? He has 87 res. 87! Yeah, I mean, they were at 8 at one point. Comm station and data core getting hit by Godly. There's no ops tower. Pronus is going to watch the door. Jetpack's now just being finished. Wouldn't be surprised if I see a defensive beacon. How about you get out of the way, Fiona? Get out of the way, Kitty. Exo's being started. Weapons 3 about halfway done. Nano shield being started. Why isn't Schwa beaconing back to main base? He needs to beacon back. Pronos, Pronos getting chased down by Jesus. He wants that fate dead. Pronos almost mm. no health. Cleans out Jesus. Nope. Pronos oh, oh, up. There almost. goes Pronos getting pinched by Blueski as he runs in the wrong direction. Datacor chair getting hit by web trance. He's trying to kill their calm. He's not making any progress. Um, here's what needs to happen. Here's how you end the game right here and now. You beacon everybody back to Atrium, you go, you pick up jetpacks, you pick up heavy weapons, you go straight to Reactor Core, you clear the Skulk off Reactor Core, you go right into Crossroads, you kill Crossroads. Or the other way around, Crevice, if you want to get out of the way, Kitty, out of the way, there's the GG from GG. LF. <laughs> there's the GG from LF, and it's Calamity Gaming 2, Lucky Flyer, I'm sorry, Lucky Fucker 0. Um, I am not on the action. I should be in crossroads. My kitty decided to be up on my monitor. Now she's in my lap. Yes, Fiona. Yes, go. I know you don't like being held. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Up is three is being finished. Nanotech finishes. Grenades are finished. LS quitting. They're just waiting for it to end. Um, they're going to shoot the hive. Three of F4. Gore Jetson's going to roll around the corner and get nailed. He's going to F4. Hackers is no health. He's quitting. 
There's the LF from Web Trance. I'm sorry, here's the GG from um, Web Trance. Hive's just waiting to be killed. Just doing some damage. Just hanging out. They're just grenading the hell out of it. Come on. Come on. That was really good pressure from Marines. I really like that pressure. There it is. Lemony Gaming wins. 2-0 to zero against Lucky Flyers. Game over. Boom. Back to the back to the grammar. Okay. That is 2-0 Calamity Gaming against LF. We're gonna go ahead and do our post-game interview now. I'm gonna bring in uh, I'm gonna bring in Schwa really quick. Uh, doing another I'm not doing any post-game stuff. Oh I am, but no memento. There is Josh. Schwa, are you on the line? I am on the line, yes. Hello, good sir. We're going to change the map to Veil, but I'm not going to keep casting because it's late and I would like to finish this because I've been recording for forever. Um, let's talk about round one. You guys were in a pinch. You guys were just totally, I mean, you guys were so in a pinch. You guys, I, I'm looking at you through your webcam. You're just like, wow, you're thinking about that. That was really rough. That clutch win, man, that clutch win with those whips, what was going through your head? Well, I'm still a pretty new commander. I mean, there's always a lot to learn. So the thing that was happening was my team was yelling at me, Schwa, cyst, Schwa, cyst, Schwa, cyst. And so I was like, okay, fine. So I was, you know, going through pipe junction, going through cross, and I was like, I don't have a third hive. I can't contaminate. So I got to at least see if they leave the, the cyst. Because you know what happens is, like, they were so focused on killing um, Flight, and they tried to eat him a few times, that they left him alone, man. And, I, and um, that's the thing that was – I think that was the – ultimate uh factor in what we needed to do man we just needed to keep sisting and i you know t i could have won that game we could have won that game i should say 10 minutes ago if i just kept sisting um and th that's the thing that was so frustrating because you know our two fades were killing everyone our life forms were killing everyone that we were you know we had the top of the map they had the south of the map and the only uh strategy it was is just we this is an endurance game we need to waste their p res waste their p res and that's what we did because you know the jetpacks with lmgs came out um and then we just went for the all-in uh, whip whip rush, which is which is great because they left him alone, and I just shifted everything in. Are you surprised that the Marines decided not to kill your assist? I mean, I watched you send Jesus in that gorge into Data Core. Jesus went immediately for the for that Sentry battery, and I'm not sure if you called that out before, previous, uh, that was planned, or if that was just on the fly. But he went for the Sentry battery. He got chased out. He got killed because he picked the wrong direction to run. But right. The Sentry battery was dead, and they didn't rebuild it. And then you. And then you, I saw you push those whips up in, in the glass hallway initially. And then they you sort of backed them off because you didn't want to see a play. But then you cysted back in and they didn't kill your cysts. Um, you know, how does that make you feel, like, that they didn't kill your cysts? <laughs> well, no, you bring up a good point because, you know, when you pug, um, and for those listening, like, you, got, you should definitely pug. But when you pug, they always say clear infestation. And people always wonder why. And it's not because it kills structures slowly. It's because as aliens, if the, if the game gets long enough, whips can come in, structures can be moved in. Um, with Lefty, though, actually, I, I'll be honest. I was so busy PVEing and building whips, I didn't even notice what he was doing. I, I, I told him go on us. I didn't really tell him what to do because sometimes, you know, I'll take over the reins and come. Then I have a field calm, you know. So it's just much easier when, you know, my, my base is being destroyed for someone else to call the shots. Um, when he got killed, I was just kind of mad because I was like, you know, I didn't know know what he was doing, but he was alone. And Onos is a power play. You don't power play alone. You need your team. You need a gorge um, or, you know, all the life forms. So, I mean, we went through, what, three or four uh, Onoses, and it was just frustrating to watch because we weren't using them to that to the full potential for sure. You went through four Onoses. I just put your webcam up over everything, so now everybody sees your glorious face. Oh, great, um, great. Because <laughs> I can do that. Um, <laughs> you went through four Onoses total. He just killed his. He just killed his webcam. <laughs> he was like, "No, a sir. Little, no, a little bashful. <laughs> no, sir. That ain't happening." Um, you went through four onuses total, and uh, I, I think maybe three or four lurks total. Right. Right. Um, we didn't focus so much on the lurk aspect because you know we have a couple guys who know how to lurk, but they just kept getting killed. I mean, Marines had so much res. Um, they had probably weapons three and armor three. Like it just the lurk is really ineffective especially with uh good shooters you know i mean they just they can't do too much it's like a couple second battle then they're out a couple second battle then they're out um but yeah i mean uh, the biggest thing we were focusing on was blue ski and tico fading and they're decent i mean they they really wiped the marines and i was actually kind of worried during the initial flight rush not even before, way before the arcs because you know it was five or four or five marines and we just couldn't kill them but i mean eventually we did and that really saved us right there
Bluesky lost three lurks, if I remember correctly, three or four. I mean, I know Bluesky. What I mean, what was that? Is he like just not into it tonight, or what? What happened? Like, uh, what was your question again? Bluesky lost three or four lurks straight up. Um, well, I don't like blaming one person, but I'm pretty sure you saw that Div One player had 51 uh, kills, 35 more than their team. I mean, he and and even Tap, you know, we were joking in the chats. He carried. He knows he carried, so it, it's it's fine. I mean, uh, but no, no, that's not to disrespect uh, lucky fuckers or anything like that. I mean, they did good. Like they listened well. They were everywhere, everywhere. They so were. I mean, uh, like it just it didn't matter where we go, and it was just constant battles. Like our skulks weren't biting too much res. We did eventually. Um, you know, they, I think they were on like you know two nodes at one point because we did wipe their res. But uh, it's, again, when you have jetpacks, everything gets built up quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, uh, everyone lost their life form at least once, except for the fades. I mean, they. We held four nodes. That's a really good spot for aliens to be. Everyone was able to at least own o uh, Not everyone own -ost. I mean, every people were get to, able to own us if they didn't go fade or their original life form. But um, no, I mean, it was just tough. That was a combat match. I mean, like I said, wiping their P res was the biggest thing we wanted to do uh, because you die, it's 15 res. And, you know, if we keep wiping their res, they won't be able to afford the good webs like the GLs and the shotguns. And that's kind of what, what our strategy was because we weren't getting any momentum. And I wasn't doing using the commander position to the fullest. Like I wasn't bone walling. I wasn't uh, use, assisting in as much as I should. So there was a lot of mistakes. Like we could have ended that game, I think earlier. Yeah. Um, I was surprised to see those seven arcs roll up into flight. I thought that was it for you guys. I was actually, we were focused so heavily, Nexus and I, on those arcs. We didn't notice what was going on until we saw the giant list of upgrades <laughs> fall apart. We we're like, right. hold on, sir. There is something <laughs> going on over here. What the hell is happening? Yeah, man. I was, um, we were lucky though because we took out the whips uh we took the whips into their base and they rolled the arcs in and we sent uh, gibbs back to kill all the arcs while they came back to try to get the power up after it was down that was the defining moment it was uh they went all in with the arcs we went all in with our, our life forms and the whips and you know we just came out on top it was uh without uh, without power you have no upgrades without upgrades you get your ass kicked yeah yeah you do but I gotta go. They wanna. They wanna play again. So it was. Uh, I sorry. I gotta cut you short. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the other one. All right. All right. That works. All right. Bye bye. Bye. No. I wanna call him. No. I want a group call. Invite to group call. There we go. Now everybody's included. I'm sorry, Nexus. I didn't group call you. Rookie. Is this rookie? Rookie. Can you hear us? He hasn't picked up his phone. Rookie? Okay. Rookie? 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 He might be there. He might not. No? I don't hear him. I don't hear him either. All right. Um, right. We're going to try this instead. We're going to do mumble. And that's going to work for us because it does. Uh, let's see. Rookie, 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 rookie. Where are you? There you are. Um, hey. Oh, muted. Hey, Rookie, meet, meet me um, somewhere else, another channel. Um, or what? do you want to do it here? What, what do you want me to do? I'll do it here. We'll just talk to you here. Um, uh, go okay. ahead. And well, I'm, I'm, I'm on Skype, but it says call and hold. Why are you on hold? We'll try this instead. Let me... Just recall. I can't. Yeah. Just just do mumble. You're here. It works. Whatever. Yeah, Nex yeah. Nexus, can you pop over to uh, their channel? There you are. I'm here. Awesome. Uh -huh. Let me make sure I can see everything. All right. Um, uh -huh. So let's talk about that game, shall we? What game? Which one? That first game going into uh, going in with those arcs and that whip rush right uh, after. Yes. What was uh, well, what was going through your head? Um. Well, we kind of forgot about uh, arcs because we were trying to keep pushing and pushing and pushing, but we were thinking about well we're missing something eventually figured out if we got arcs so we started setting those up and by then it was kind of over because we got them kind of late and they uh they were sitting into our base which i didn't really notice well we we uh, had built a sentry battery to defend against the sis but got distracted and never built the sentries yeah that was well uh, the sentry battery got destroyed by the onos and killed off it and Hackers, so, yeah. since I'm on the top, since we're in your channel now, um, can we talk about your, I, I almost want to call it overconfidence with, with how you played your life forms in the second game. You lost that gorge. Um, you didn't really battle gorge pushing in with your skulks to start off the game. 
And on top of that, you didn't... I mean, when you did go and fight, you went up against one or two Marines, and that's... why? Yeah, I, uh... I knew there were two over the rise. I knew I had a skulk with me, so I was just going to go in and heal him as he fought. But uh, he was gone instantly, and they they took me down pretty darn quick, right over that rise. Uh, usually, I'm I'm pretty timid as a gorge. Stay away from confrontation. What led to your loss in the second round? What do you think led to your loss? Uh, shotguns to the face. That would do it. Second round. Well, we didn't hit any of the res as well. Well, we were hitting the res. Uh, we just the couldn't is, seem to get close to him. Yeah, we couldn't we really... Weren't, we weren't dancing as well as we should have. We weren't playing our skulks well. Right. Yeah, the, I, the, I have the constant no... pressure from your own naturals doesn't help either. I can imagine yeah. that would be a problem. That's um, what I would say. They, I mean, they push those weapon upgrades and shotguns, and it just looks like you guys got closed in. And after that flight control hive death, you know, you drop that flight control hive blind. Why? Yeah. Well, by then, as soon as we, uh, that blind hive was kind of just because I knew it was already going to be GG. Because as soon as we killed their CC and atrium, uh, I went up and I was like, well, they already have, they already have another CC built up. They're going to build another one just in case. Because I went over back to atrium, they were building it up. I got shot, gun to the face, I died. You know, I hopped back in the CC. I was thinking, well, we could probably take flight and probably push from there, but we have one RT, we have at least 70 res, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna drop this. It's about GG if we can't, if we can't push out. When we took uh, down their command station, I was just waiting for the aliens' win to pop up, but they got yeah. that, uh, they got that hologram down, they got the blue down. In data core, we didn't find it quickly enough. We should have had drifters sitting on the tech points when we did that. We just a uh, little flustered, a little distracted, and uh, late. Happens to the best of us. Um, anything else you guys want to say? I mean, you guys played a solid round. You know, a little bit of a mistake here and well, there, but otherwise... Hackers is common this one, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, you guys have fun with that. I'm going to peace out. Um, this has uh, been a Lucky Flyers <laughs> Calamity Gaming uh, it's lucky, it's lucky fuckers, bro. Lucky, <laughs> lucky flyers. Sorry, <laughs> wrong team. Uh, so that I, I think you both. Flyers. I thank you both for talking with me. You both have a good day. Have a good match next up. All right. Thank all you right. much for everything you. you do. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, Nexus. That's it, man. That was two zero calamity gaming against lucky fuckers. Um, that's it, man. Scrim over. Done. GG. This is Loopy and. Nexus signing off. Nexus, would you like to say goodbye? Nexus, can you hear me? I don't think he can. Oh, he can't. I don't know why. Yes, I there can he hear is. you. Okay. I had you muted while we are in Mumble because it was echoing pretty bad. Sorry about Sorry. that. I totally forgot about that. Well, no, that's cool. Uh, that was good. Uh, good game, everybody. That was 2-0 Calamity Gaming. This is Loopy, and this is the Reddit. This is a, uh, this is a scrim match brought to you by Loopy Casting. Have a good day. Goodbye.